Welcome, welcome, this is VCQ, and welcome to a new installment of Dark Souls 1. This will be a sorcery run. Um, good int, good dex, good tuning. Sorcerer is probably the best way to go. Grab the master key for this run. Oh my goodness. These are hideous options. Fun will do. No, I accept. Oh no, I don't want to customize. Oh, it needs a name. And I've already come up with this name. The name is going to be Allegram. And I'm going to skip that. So, I have a feeling, uh, let's quickly talk about the, oh my goodness, that is hardly any health, hardly any stamina. I've just come back from a new game, class plus run, gotten half the way through just for the warriors, sorry, the honour of a knight achievement, and I'm used to having like 10 bars of health and 7 bars of stamina, so this is going to take a bit of getting used to. So in a sorcery run, we're trading the range, so we're going to be able to shoot at range. We're trading that for a different damage type, we're trading that for not using stamina to attack, but it will be more difficult to lock on to a target. It will be more difficult to hit a target instead of being right next to them and dealing damage. The soul arrow will travel, or most of the magic items will travel, sorry, spells will travel in a straight line. There are a few that can deviate, but that's the trade off we're going to make. We have three slots. That's a good start. And this time we have gear. So we've got the sorcery gear to start with. However, we are going to trade off... So we're going to need to put a fair few points in attunement. Because we're going to want more spell slots. We're going to need to put a fair bit in intelligence. Um, resistance is generally not well liked by the community, but I think a couple of points for boosting physical defense would help. Maybe one or two in strength, one or two maybe in dexterity for welding other catalysts. Um, and then we're still going to need to balance a bit of vitality and endurance, because otherwise we'll just be a glass cannon. So there's a lot of different trade-offs already in the way that we're going to play and approach this game. However, we can fire from range, we can use other spells to hopefully tilt the favor in our advantage, and hopefully there can be a couple of different bits that we can sort of approach things with. I am hopefully going to stay mostly with this, what's the word, armor, I guess you could say. So, because I'm going to be relatively light, I'm not going to be using Havels for most of it. A dagger? Do I not even get a... Wow, I don't even get a... Okay, I don't even get a wand or a staff to start off with. Okay, 
Yeah, that's gonna be a bit rough. Hopefully sorcery can approach the game in a couple of different ways. I can show you a couple of them. Well, that also assumes that I know what I'm doing in terms of approaching enemies, but I don't think I am, maybe. I don't know, maybe I can come up with some creative ways, is probably what I'm trying to say, to deal with some enemies. But, Helps. So I don't even get a staff. It's a bit rough. Got a first learn to fight with hand to hand combat. Okay, at least that's relatively quick. Should be going for overkills. Oh, there we go. Sorcerer's Catalyst. I didn't even notice that body there last time. So if we can get a couple of overkills, then that will help. Uh, run away. There we go. Soul Arrow. So a big benefit of using spells, in this game at least, is that you can aim them manually, you can aim them with lock-on. Both have their advantages. But what I was leading up to was the fact that it doesn't cost any stamina. So I can shoot a spell, a soul arrow, sorry, and then defend or roll, not long after. So that's one of the illustrated disadvantages of using spells. The enemy isn't stationary, and they move, the spell's not going to follow it, and you've wasted your shot. Yeah, I'm just going to be about to just jump straight in. Dagger still does a moderate amount of damage. We're just going to spam soul arrows. And the Asylum Demon being a relatively big target is easy to hit and very slow moving, making it even easier to hit. So we're sort of going to try and be a bit quick about it. I do want to collect lots of souls though, just because purchasing sorceries is also going to be another part of the challenge with managing all of your souls. So we do have a dagger for hand to hand combat, we probably should keep that on us just in case. and a bit of health. And we've already got four slots, which is excellent. We are going to scavenge around four items and souls. Uh, we don't really need five bombs. I have a theory on seeing the scalers, so I haven't seen it presented, but I have a feeling he was trying to grow his own scales out of crystals on himself. And my headcanon for that is, in the opening cutscene, we see him we see him clutch dragon scales 
he likely wants them to study on. Yeah, that's not much help. But we see him grow crystals on hollows. We see him start growing crystals on different things. And he's able to separate souls with crystals. Um, when we next see him, where's the exit here? Ah, here it is. He's, he's, the bottom of Seath is even starting to grow crystals on the bottom of him. So I think he's trying to grow himself a set of crystals that act as scales. Ooh, that's a bit rough. And our int isn't too great. But solar arrow is relatively quick and spammy. Either. All right. I'm not going to grab all of them. I'm going to do a quick little move. Go around the mulberry bush. Mulberry bush, the mulberry bush. We go around the mulberry bush. So early in the morning. We go near and far, near and far, near and far. We're gonna run, run far away. You'll never see the light of day. Okay. The reason why I'm grabbing all these souls. Uh, I need to get upstairs. The stairs of up. Because we're going to pop all these souls. Um. Oh, hang on, it would just be easier to just use them then, as they are. Six hundred. Ay, ay, ay. Just a little more. So, like, holy crud, I gotta be careful. This is nice, we can approach it from afar. At this point in time, we are stronger than our enemies. And magic will also help early game. Um, if things aren't cutting or thrusting or Stuff like that, if that's just not working out... I hate that jump. If they're not working out, then magic is a good alternative. It provides another 
way to inflict damage and hurt things. So usually dudes in armor, lots of heavy armor, um, they're usually susceptible, susceptible to magic. As a general thumb. I hate that jump, I hate that jump. Okay, we need a little bit more. So we're going to be a bit greedy. So in narrow corners like this, this is going to be good for us. As long as we can keep distance. have enough souls to get started. I mean, we already have a spell, which is awesome. But there's nothing wrong with getting an upper hand so early on. So obviously close quarters, we're going to be in a bit of strife. So we are going to have to Agitate that somewhat. Just going to quickly go down to New London Ruins. Oh wait, no, I need that to come back up. We do have the master key, but we're not going to go down to Blight Town. We're not sure. We could go and beat Quelag, but um, do we remember there being some souls somewhere? Hold on, I just played the game plus plus plus. They are not souls. Okay, now we can see good old Ricket. Hmm? Certainly can. Could try to reinforce weapons, but it's not gonna matter. 13, 15, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be welding much weapons this round. However, he does have dead. Heavy soul arrow. Which I'm is 4,000. This helps soothe my nerves. Don't let me... What we will do is we will get another solar arrow. Come back soon. That way we've got more than enough ammo in the tank, and we'll just have to come back. Come back, damn it. For heavy solar arrow. So I'm going to get that right at the start. That would have been a great boon, but. Oh. Dang it. 
silly Billy. That's all right. Thing is, you have to also attune that as well. Fire bombs on there, some homeward bones. But we'll at least be able to make it to the Taurus Demon. Hoping to get relatively close to and beat the Bell Gargoyles. Don't really want to level up just yet. We've got 60 soul hours. We've got enough juice. Off we go. Um, we can leave him alone. And unlike archers in other games, being on a ledge doesn't help us with damage. extra strength. So this is better against every damage type except fire. It is a bit heavier though, but it'll serve us well for our purpose. Don't want him sneaking up behind me. One thing we can't do yet is take on multiple enemies at the same time. Okay, as you can see, magic does make things like this trivial. space like this, it ain't ideal. Oh yeah, that's a dead end. Oh, and it is viable to pick up rubbish. You can trade rubbish to Snugly. And he will give you something good in return. be going in straight lines. Does that actually go anywhere? Oh, it does. So we'll be able to get to the next bonfire. Hello, lass. Humanity is necessary. Um, yeah, we'll go back. Solar refines a bit quicker than I remember it.
can't actually get there from there. There's a pain in the butt. Can't wait to wreck him with a couple of salt spears. See, that's not cool. But you can see it does quickly make certain enemies very trivial. just yet, because I don't want to have to go through all this nonsense again. Guard's not up, takes full damage. And even hiding behind. These weapons we can set. There's no point getting the residence key. Oh, actually, there is a. There is. We definitely need the residence key to get Griggs. I was like, I don't need it just yet. Both of them would help. Repair box and bottomless box. But I think you can get them elsewhere. Eight strength. What's my character? Name? Nine strength. We can get a long sword. We might just get one as a backup or alternative to the dagger. Sorry, a short sword. Could also get a scimitar. There's a lot of things we could get. Buckler's actually not bad either. But we don't need any of this just yet. I did want the resonance key though. What a wanker. Fall off a cliff, huh? I don't remember that, buddy. Problem is, if I'm not doing swords, I can't strike. It'll be a lot harder for me to strike enemies. I should have got the binoculars. Should have got the binoculars to be able to snipe, but that's okay. Throwing knives aren't that helpful, but Framps can eat the whole bunch of them. Too early. You butt plug. Another cliff there, I can just fall off. Should also be playing offline, but that's alright. So that's pretty interesting if you're going to Gravelord me so early. For a moment, I see no red phantoms. I haven't really done much online play, but... That's a crossbow. That is definitely not what I need. Alright, more weapons to sell to Frampt. Oh 
on that. Shield, I think that might help. Bit less magic, bit more stability. Most of the damage is physical at the moment, so we'll keep. Stay with the wooden shield. Grave warding today. Not snipe them from. I'll try and use the dagger. Just to save on some arrows. That will help if we run out of soul arrows, but I'd like to stick to just source. Maybe just sorcery should remain just sorcery. Lovely is sorcery. Oh, you can get over here. Oh, but there's nothing of value. It does have a little bit of homing on it. And this is quite nice, because if you wanted to have a quick see of what you're up against or you just got sick of being shot in the back that 
was very amateur-like. I think I'm gonna have enough. I'm gonna need at least fifteen. Are you gonna kill me? Probably. Chunk straight off the bat. Let's to go to places where we shouldn't be going. See if I have enough Solaros. Oh, if magic isn't gonna work, then whacking them with the catalyst is an alternative.
Gonna take care of Tweedledee and Tweedledum again. Magic. And he did get staggered. To be honest, I didn't think spells could do. But have no fear, that was no problem for Allegrand. We get 3,000 souls straight back in the account. What's the point of having a master key if it doesn't open anything? The way I it is pleased the like that of the Very exhausting dialogue. Well I could get up there for a second. I was like, what? No area confirmed. Don't die, please don't die. That dragon is just an absolute pain in the butt. And then I died. Shortcut open. Oh, I hate that dragon. I really do. He seems to kill me when he wants, and I can never kill him. Well, this playthrough, I'm gonna wreck him. Mark my words. That was close. Stupid dragon. Massive pain. Well, actually, probably more like a wyvern anyway. Just gonna wait. Probably won't help, but I need to get those souls back. Good. Um, relieved. Okay, let's try this again. No, we won't. Hey. 
Words cannot describe the amount of hate I have for you. Okay, so shield's not gonna matter. So we bait the attack and then we run. Pain in the butt. For the free souls, sucker. He is really determined to not let me pass this time. Dragon pisses me off. Yeah, we get it. You're a fried breathing monster. Just you wait. Okay, here's one of the first problems with magic. Things that are short, it has trouble. Somehow it must have tipped their tail. Free humanity, why is that like that? Means I can't get to the parish. This is going to be fun. Ready for this? Yeah, of course I got closet. spell. Mm. 
no way. This is one example of magic not being welded right. Yeah, I probably deserve that. This last thing I need is one of them. The magic I have at this point is ill-equipped to deal with you. Enough excitement for one day. Bonfire is the first priority.
Bonfire. Yes. Maybe start up, and one of those would be good as well. What's my strength? Yeah, we can put one more point into strength. That'll give us a solid shield. Actually, we should still keep the dagger on us. Hmm. I guess you can't reinforce the catalyst. Don't get yourself. Alright, let's see how Sparky does. So, even just moving. That was a face for the lightning. So, even just after casting. Can move forward a little bit, which can help evade some attacks. That sorts you out. We might level up just that one extra strength. Not really what we want to be upgrading, but to get a decent shield, it will help. Well, you could argue the wooden shield's good enough as it is, and you wouldn't be wrong. So we're going to quickly clear out the parish, as well as backtrack a little bit, find any other extra goodies. I'm going to deal with you first. deal with you later. Once we have the correct solage, we will activate the shortcut and gain the next level of soul arrow. We're also gaining soft humanity, which is good. That'll help us get more weapons. We'll find more weapons from killing enemies.
When magic hits, right, it makes certain enemies trivial. So now we've got 100% block shield, physical block, and this will be good for the majority of the run. Although we are quite a fair bit heavier for it. Five point five. Yeah, okay, let's change that. Hit the roof. I am wary of being flanked. Get rid of the pay. That's exactly what I was looking for. He is quite quick.
you're kidding. sword as well but I didn't want to have to go all the way back to the bonfire to get a secure kill there well that was pretty obvious there was gonna be the victor there Oof. if I continue to be arrogant like that then maybe I will get punished Quickly try and clear out that parish. Okay, I could have gone all the way back, beaten the Black Knight with just magic. But probably a waste of time to prove it in this exercise. Okay, we got all tall, dark, and gruesome. And magic fails me there. Give me a shard. going to be the real boss. Those are going to be the harder enemies. The Duke's Archives is going to be hell because those channelers are going to be super strong. They're going to have a lot of magic resistance, so I'm going to have to be pretty clever with how I deal with them.
sure. Why not? Nothing that I need. I'm pretty sure dexterity helps with the cast time, but I can't remember. Salt error emphasizing power. It's alright. In the hands of skilled users, it won't be an issue. uses of it. Alright. Bell gargoyles, here we come. take on the Moonlight Butterfly, we'll have enough power, I mean even 60 solarities is enough. We do want to rest at this bonfire though, actually no we don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone thinks they're tough until they cop soul arrows to the face. show himself. Ooh, 
didn't check. Was that the channel? Great work, sorcery. Oh, I did get him. a bit better. We are going to free low trek, low trek, lee trek, low trek, lie trek, law trek, loo trek. But then I am in love. Okay, belt got go away all time. rings yet. I didn't oh I didn't even grab the ring all the way down the end there. I think we can get rid of the dagger, but you never know. We don't need a wooden shield. Oh it takes eleven. That's a pain. A small leather shield should do nicely. But we're not gonna be caught by fire. expecting that. I was like, yep, I'm out of range, and then all of a sudden I turned it to toast. That was unexpected. I legitimately thought I was out of range then. Well, even the best of us get us wrong. Get it wrong once in a while.
So, at the start I got a bit lucky with the heavy solo arrow. And it's interesting, spells seem to have poise which are able to stagger bosses. I didn't even get that when I was in my melee run. Should be most of them. All of them. Alright, we'll see if we can get one or two hits off with the heavy soul arrow. Then we'll have to switch to the soul arrow. Pisses me off. I'm gonna have a look at that after I'm done with this this uh, this session. I honestly thought that came under 50%, but looks like I've been misinformed, which also pisses me off. All right, I'm not making that mistake again. Should have just run straight past him, picked up the souls, and then disappeared. We can get rid of this guy now. Okay. I'm gonna make this quick. Carry that. Heavy Soul Arrow is taking a lot of cast time. So I really have to be careful with the timing there. Okay. Learn the tricks and pop it up again. Yeah, I meant that. Thank you. 
walked off the damn edge. then or run into fire but thankfully that didn't happen okay all of that needs to go into stats because we haven't freed Griggs yet but that'll have to wait till next time So, as you can see in the first and second attempts I had, the first attempt I got pretty lucky to land a couple of heavy Soleros straight off the bat, but you can see the second time around when the enemy's moving and I don't time it right, it's the roof. That, um, it's, the game gets a lot harder. I'm not gonna need one of them. No, I don't think I am. I don't think I'll need either of them either. No, I'm not going to get cursed. Takes us there. How do I get Griggs again? He's in Mother Blight Town. How do I get there? I don't remember. Seventy three with the shield up. Forgot I was out of castings. Dexterity helps with the casting time, but I'll get another endurance and another bit of health. Still have one more achievement slot, so I don't need to worry about that at the moment. Thanks for watching. <laughs>